It's Marley again with Downtown Magazine, shooting our Downtown Highlight series. This summer, we're checking out our favorite ice cream spots. Today, we're heading to Mochi Doki. Let's go check it out. Here at Mochi Doki, they are masters at serving, you guessed it, mochi ice cream. Mochi is ice cream wrapped in a rice flour dough. Mochi Doki ice cream uses globally sourced ingredients to ensure the best quality ice cream. All mochi at Mochi Doki is gluten free and there are vegan options for those sensitivities. Mochi Doki is imagination in every bite. So I'm here today with Christopher, the owner of Mochi Doki, and we're just going to ask him a couple questions. Yeah. Hi, so Christopher, what inspired you to open Mochi Doki? Uh, well, actually, I'm a co-founder, okay. um, and uh, Moshi has always been something that I hold really dear to my heart. It's one of the earliest memories I have uh, walking home from school with my grandmother, and uh, we would share a uh, little container of Moshi. We would have one each. So uh, the whole idea is to just really bring like a modern, fun way of enjoying Moshi ice cream. You're going to see that in a lot of Amazing. I love that. What's your favorite flavor? That's a really difficult question that we get a lot. Okay. Um, my favorite right now is the Ube. Okay. Um, it's a sweet potato, it's a purple sweet potato. Uh, it's really kind of like sweet and starchy at the same time. Um, but you know, what we love to do is just really play and have fun with it. So we have a lot of seasonal flavors. The current one we have is a turmeric hot honey, which is like a Almost like a golden milk, if you're familiar with that. Oh, yeah, you get a little bit that. of a spice, there's a little bit of heat that comes with it, so mm -hmm. uh, it, it's fun. Oh, excited to try. What are your best selling flavors here? Mm -hmm. I think matcha is definitely one of the top sellers. Yeah. I think when you're talking about mochi ice cream, matcha is kind of like the vanilla yeah, of that. Of so course. we have that, but then um, another one of our, our most popular ones is definitely the vegan passion fruit. Uh, we use a coconut base. For that, so you have the sweet tartness from the passion fruit, you use a root fruit puree that gets all the flavors through, and then that will okay. pair that with the uh, uh, coconut, which is really lovely. That's amazing. That'd be great for people who are dairy intolerant, too. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, Tell us a little bit about your nitro and matcha team. We actually worked with a, a brewery to figure out exactly how to do that. Matcha itself is not a steep seat, it is a suspension. So we needed to figure out a way how to keep the can kind of constantly in motion to keep the matcha from settling. Okay. And so we developed this uh, uh, nitrogen. Kind of, we're not getting too far into yeah, the specifics. Yeah. Um, a, a way to kind of keep the matcha uh, uh, exactly the way you want it, but adding a layer of nitro that like, gives it a little bit more texture and adds that like, frothiness that you get from the matcha. Are you guys the first to that? Or is I don't know. I think it's one of those things that there might have been multiple people kind of thinking about that concept okay. at the same time. Gotcha. Uh, but definitely one of the it's first, if not the so one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard exactly. Of that. Very cool. Yeah. So, like, if you're familiar with mochi ice cream, what you're gonna taste is like we spent a lot of time developing the recipe for our mochi, and like we managed to find a way to get the mochi so that it stays really nice and soft, mm -hmm. even though it's frozen. And we would have created it in a way that it stays thin, and once you bite into it, you'll definitely taste the difference. It really incorporates into the, the, with the ice cream together, and it's super delicate, and um, you're not going to want any other mochi ice cream after this. Okay, let's try the mochi. So good. Okay, let's try this nitro matcha. So delicious and so sweet. Well, that was hands down the best mochi I've ever had. That's all for today at Downtown Highlights. I'm Marley, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!